I'm not trying to make this like immaculately straight, you know what I'm saying? These instructions are so hard to read. This in the camera view looks so freaking cute. No matter what happens, it's okay. Ha 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 ha. Easy money. My little circle table here. Well, I must admit, I'm definitely sick of building furniture. Good morning everyone and welcome welcome back to my channel. I have literally just finished off my vlog where I've sort of set everything up and we are going to be going shopping to set up my cozy corner couch. It is currently Saturday, what am I looking at? It is Saturday the 26th of October and my couch is actually arriving two weeks early. It's actually arriving on the 30th so it's only arriving in four days. So with that being said, we need to set everything up. So one thing that we're definitely going to be purchasing today from Ikea is a rug. We're going to test it out in the lounge room to see how it looks under the couch. I have to check the size out but it's actually going to end up in here. We'll check it over there, make sure it fits. If it's nice there, we'll buy another one for the couch. But I'm so excited because the setup will get even better as well. Well, the couch is gonna go, let me show, actually, let me show. So the couch is going to go here, like I've already said. Kind of gonna, I'm gonna look for a lamp today, see if we can find something that will sit nicely behind it. Definitely wanna look at some artwork and things over there. Now over here, I think we're gonna buy like a little cube storage so that we can put like a, um, oh my God, a record player, sorry, so we can play some of our records. Maybe do like a little gallery wall over here. Whereas over here, I might just do like one print or something. And by the end of the vlog, I should have all my plants and everything, like my fake ones to put up here. And everything's gonna be really so exciting. Of course got to show off the shelf. I think it's just going to look so cute. We're also going to be doing some decor shopping as well. We're going to go to TK Maxx and we're also wanting to have a look at some like dining tables, like a little sideboard as well for in the kitchen. So today's going to be like a all in one Oh, that was a spider. I got jump scared by a spider today, so I thought that was one there. It's not. We are pretty much doing an all-together all furniture shop, but with a big emphasis on trying to decorate this small corner. So let's go to Ikea, let's go to TK Maxx, and kind of whatever furniture store we can find along the way. That's a really cool bed. Glasses. I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen of the ones from Amazon that I've been looking at for literally years and has been in my cart since well and truly before Canada because I thought I could buy them in Canada but that's silly because they are glass. But these are plastic so 
for anyone that spills things or breaks things easily. This is fantastic. We have our big rug from Ikea. This is a, the two by three off white color. What we're gonna do, like I said before, we're gonna test it out here to see what it looks like. Cause I'm not too sure if this is gonna be big enough. It might be too small. Jim thinks that it might be the perfect size. Cause then I'm thinking about like laying a rug. Anyway, we're gonna test it out here, but it ultimately it's gonna end up <laughs> in the gaming room just to cover the carpet. Cause I don't like the feeling of the carpet. And then as you would have seen, it's super heavy. <sighs> we just got this cube storage. I wanted the bigger one from like Bunnings that looked, in my personal opinion, looked a little bit nicer, but literally it was about three to four centimeters too big and I feel like that would have looked silly. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this still looks nice, still provides storage that we want. And the top should be decorated because it has this really irritating line in the middle of it, but it's right in the center, which is where I plan to put our, in the future, um, record player. So we're gonna build this, we're gonna try the rug. We measured some of the dining tables today, so hopefully we're gonna measure some of those and see what they look like here. I might go pick that up tomorrow. Well, I'm gonna eat and then we're gonna test out the rug. Hey, Um, I think this is going to be two meters. So do we want the two meters across and three meters out? No, because this is 2.2, so I want three meters. So yeah. that would be this way, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It doesn't matter, we have to do it perfect, but that would be better. It would, it would put it further across. See how it's over the wall? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't want it to be like that, but this is just a little- tape measure out, we'll measure each side. Ooh. So I actually feel like it's gonna go to the wall. It should do because it's three meters long. Like the wall's three meters long. All I want you to do is lift your side. I'm gonna pull it. That's a little too much. That's okay. Yeah. I think it's okay. Wait a little bit. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. Should I pick the ottoman up together? Um, two seconds. <laughs> That's a lock it in. I don't know. Oh yeah, there'll be clips on this. There could be things to lock in. Lock in it. Might help the couch from slow. <laughs> it actually might. Okay. Like I said, I think you'll like it out here more. I think I still want to pull it off the wall slightly. What do you mean? The carpet. The carpet a little bit more? Actually, just like, now I've got the couch center. Okay, it's actually square. Perfect. Just in my corner. Look at it from a corner angle. Yeah, that does look nice. And then I reckon like a cool sort of funky shaped rug that comes out just a little bit over here. Eventually when we find something nice and funky. But to have the laid carpet look, I think would be perfect. But no, I like it. Yeah, but we'll move it to, oh, it feels nice too. I know, I like it. And for the price, considering rugs cost like an arm and a leg. I like it. And here is the rug. I didn't film it because dear God, that was a nightmare, an absolute nightmare. But it looks good. It looks so good. I can't wait for my chair to be there in a couple days. That's gonna look so freaking good. I'm exhausted, so I'm gonna come back tomorrow and we're gonna build that little cube unit that's gonna go there and then we can organize everything and start like a little bit of the decorating because I picked up a few things from Amazon. More things will come and that will be shown a little bit later, but the couple things I do have from Amazon, we're gonna try and decorate and make it look cute just in time for the chair. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Sunday, everyone. You would have seen we went for a lovely little walk this morning. But we're having a very lazy Sunday, slept in, you know the drill. But let's build these cube storage. We're now three days down until the cozy couch arrives. So let's get the rest of the room together before it arrives. And it's not sticky tape down, it's like glued. Oh, I got it. Do you want the backings put on them? Do I have to? We'll see how we go. What are these? Are these all number nines? Okay, they're all number nines. Eight. Eight. Oh. Can I make the backing? Yeah. They're coming in the back of me, right? That is actually no bueno. I got a little bit in my eyeball. Whoa. Wood chippings. For anybody that watched my moving vlogs, I do not want to move house. This is 
the rental, I will have to move. But now with all the furniture that we own, I'm not looking forward to it. Okay, this is the last piece. I gently slide all this back so we don't get all this crap in it. Amazing. I'm gonna check this out. So I've already made a mistake, as you can see on this one, it's got like the rough edges and then on this side, it's got like the nice wooden edges. So this is done correctly. However, ugh, if you look at this one, the rough wood's in the middle. So I'm gonna take this off, flip this center bit around and redo it. All right, both are done properly. Now let's, let's get this all together. These instructions are so hard to read. I'm definitely going to get some more crochet sunflowers. I think six would look much better there. Hold on, let me stand back a little bit. It's definitely a little smaller than I originally wanted, but unfortunately the biggest sizes would come into the bookshelf. So I feel like this is the best option that we had available to us. And it's also really cheap, so not too mad. And I'm thinking about maybe putting some legs, finding some legs and just lifting up just a little bit higher off the ground. I think that would make it look a little bit more elevated as well as I'm not sure if it's going to be wide enough for a record player, but we'll buy a record player eventually and we can test it out there. Okay, that is me done for the day. I will pick this up again on Tuesday when the couch arrives. Good 
morning everyone and happy Friday. So I don't know why I thought it was arriving Tuesday. It actually was arriving Wednesday. It was always arriving Wednesday. I just thought the 30th of October was a Tuesday. But because pretty much I work 10 hour shifts Monday through to Thursday, I haven't really had much time except every time I finish work I pretty much sit in this couch for like hours and hours. I'm like I haven't had enough time. But I am so excited. This is so comfortable. And this morning what we're going to do is actually we're going to be rearranging and putting all like the cupboard and this shelving like we're going to move it around we're going to see what it all looks like and try different layouts just because this is a lot bigger in the space than we thought it was going to be but also at the same time we also thought it was going to be smaller it's a very weird concept that we find so let's get some rearranging done and seeing what layout's going to work the best and then once we do that we're actually going to head to Kmart and I'm going to buy a lamp to sit over here and then once we sort of have the layout and the lamp I'm then going to try and do some photoshopping or like procreate should probably pretty much use procreate and work out what artwork I potentially want and how we're going to decorate the rest of it because we are so close now to being ready because I think literally it's just a little bit of artwork I do have to wait so behind me I'll show you so for just there I'm still waiting for my fake vines to show up and for the grid up here I'm not gonna buy the grid just yet but I am gonna buy a grid to start my key chain collecting because that is my favorite and also I have I have changed my background again and it looks so good and I changed my mic to being orange and yes I did get Maccas I had to get a blood test this morning but it's just looking so cozy and so beautiful let's get to rearranging where do you want to start what do you want well to do? should we try what was one of the what was one of the things we wanted to try was move Moving this to like here. Yeah, all right. Then I'll be thinking like my little circle table here, which if I grab the measurements, you're gonna grab the measuring tape just real quick for me if that's okay. That way I can check. Oh, my table's no longer on sale. It's 35 centimeters wide and 48 centimeters tall. That's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. That would fit right there. And we still got room for a lamp. And the lamp that'll come over here. Oh, do you know what I could do that's really cool? That like I hack that people do where they build the frame out a little bit bigger mm -hmm. and we can put it over that. And so it can be, if I get like a big enough print, all you'll see is like a little bit of the cord hanging down from underneath it. That's good. And then we can do like another small cabinet. Or we can do a shelf. Oh, and then you can yeah. have a projector on here and then you can put plants and stuff to cover it. Do you like that there or not? I think it just looks cuter the way it was. Yeah. But I think that's only because we don't have everything else together yet. Is this one of those things where if we put this all the way back in the corner that will fit there? Because before it was like hitting Just a little here. bit, yeah. Or I can make that center to that wall. Might actually look better being center. Okay, let's make a center. Center-ish. Turn that vertical and put it there as well as that other option. We should see what that looks like. I know I said I didn't want to. That fits well. Mm. Bars on top. Trust me, I'm cooking. You're cooking? I'm cooking. And then we can have like a projector here. Um, I and can then use that for my own like little shelf. shelf. I just. Not working for you? Hmm. Tell me your thoughts. I like both options. I don't hate it. It actually looks a lot better than I thought it would, but I think I still I think I prefer one of two things. I either prefer that, that back to where it was, that on the side, and then do a gal gallery wall there, or I like that pushed up against the side. We can buy from Kmart a little rattan, like it's literally like a little rattan shop. I think it sits like here. And that to go into the gaming room. Ooh. Does that change your mind? What's your opinion? I don't like it at an angle. It's not the most, you know, stable shelf. And the more we move it and slide it, the more it's unraveling at the foot and the bottom. <laughs> no, but I want to know your opinion too, because this is also your room. I think buffet thingy here, retirement shelf back there, that'll stick out a little bit, but then you can have a table in front of it. Like. And then once we get a buffet for here, we'll move that into the office. Yeah, yeah should we move them back? Thank you for doing this with me. Oh, you're thinking about leaving these upright over here? But sure. do you want the rattan on the other side? Do you want to see what these ones like on this wall? The highest screen? Yeah. Just hear me out for two seconds. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. swap. Let's swap. Oh. Where's your sound player? Oh. Oh. 
I don't hate it as much as I was going to. I still just don't know if it's it though. I know that this is what like you move. But out of the way so it's not in the way. Mmm. Stand over here as well. Um, what do you think? I don't mind it like that either. Yeah, you know. I want your thoughts as well, because I'm, I'm, my heart still says the way that we had it originally. <laughs> hey, well, I want your opinions though. So my opinion still says how we had it the first way. I still think the first way was better way. Like just looks wise. I feel like this is more functional though. Like the chairs push back ever so slightly and a little bit in and I don't just... mind it being closer though. It wasn't a hindrance, was and it? And when the lamp's behind it, it's really gonna feel that empty space behind it. So well, like... I'm gonna go by the lamp today. So after all that, we just sort of moved things back. However, we've now centered this and put my floor cushion to the side here. It is a little bit big for the room. I did want to put some floor cushions down and make it sort of look a bit cute. But now it's got somewhere to live where I can pull it out, use it when I need it, and then put it back. Again, pull this a little bit off the wall and a little bit more centered. This we push back a little bit and put some magnets or like something to lift the, what do you call it, the shelf back so that it can lean a bit closer to the wall. And that way we have some clearance to do a little bit of swiveling. But like I've said, the swivel wasn't necessary. It just is what the chair came with, which is still really cool. I can still at least get some of the function in. But it just looks cozier and comfier this way. We are thinking about changing this out for like a proper full buffet. Because it's a oh, sideboard or whatever you want to sort of call it. Just because this was a little bit smaller than what we wanted it to be. Because the ones that are sort of bigger was going to be too big for the space, basically. But let's go to Kmart and get the lamp. And I don't know, I might buy the black paint as well today so I can paint it black. Because the one I'm getting is currently white and I want it to be black. So let's go do all that. I think I'm actually going to cut out the clip that I took while at the shops. The driving in Melbourne. I don't think I need to go there because this is a positive vlog. It's a happy vlog, right? It's like one of my dream vlogs to ever make and my dream situation, but damn. And then on top of that, I'm currently battling Steam support who were so unhelpful. So we're gonna put that negativity away. I've had my special medication to try and bring me down and we're gonna start this again. I got the lamp. Now it is white and I wanna paint it black. The only problem is when these were originally released from Kmart, I know that was part of, I or am, was a part of like one of the Kmart Australia like Facebook groups and so many people were having problems where it actually wouldn't work. I don't have any globes so that actually fit. I thought what we had a fit and I can't drive after my medication so I'm gonna have to wait but let's put it behind the couch. Let's see how it looks either way. I'll be able to get a globe tomorrow and test it out and then we'll repaint this in black because I definitely think black will suit better in the theme as a whole. So let's put her in the spot. What do we reckon? What do we reckon? It's not too low, because the most I sit up, and that's actually really good. Like I'm sitting completely upright. Like I would not, like I'm not gonna sit up any taller than this. Maybe if I cross my legs. Oof. Plenty of clearance. Sorry, excuse the projector light there and the projector cord. But that looks really good. Again, sorry, I'm just covering up that projector light. Wow, this is really coming together. I think that still being black is still the move. Very, very, very happy. So, like I said, I can't. I don't want to paint it black until I can 100% confirm that the lamp works and it's all working well. So, hopefully, I will pick that up tomorrow. If not, maybe my partner on that message him and see if he can pick something up on the way home. I love the way it looks. It's the exact vibe I was going for and I feel like it really fills the space and now I'm definitely gonna have a better idea of what artwork that I'm gonna want to add to that area but I'm gonna pick this back up once I'm ready to paint the lamp mm. my hair is doing things and stuff it is what it is. Good morning, friends. So the mirror and the lamp went on a little bit of a journey. It ended up being a gloss finish, which I actually wanted a satin finish, as well as there was no prep done. I just thought it would work. It definitely did not. James has sanded it back, reprimed it, or like not reprimed it, sanded it back and primed it. Primed it? Primed it? 
primed it. Oh my goodness, good morning, clearly. And then last night we were able to put the satin finish on it, so hopefully this morning it's nice and dry. We're gonna take the tape off and we're gonna put the lamp behind my chair this morning, get it all set up, get it all ready to go, as well as we're gonna head to Bunnings today. Today's gonna be the last one. We're gonna finish up, we're gonna put everything together. So we're gonna go to Bunnings after we've done the mirror and we've done the lamp. We're gonna go to Bunnings. I'm gonna get this like half hanging pot and some command strips so that way we can attach a few things to the wall because I actually made a print and I got some fake vines, some fake leaves so that I can hang up and sort of fill up the space a little bit and try and cover up those holes that are above the pegboard. But let's go and take off the tape for the mirror and hope to God that I didn't, like I did it right and that there's no paint on the actual mirror itself. No matter what happens, it's okay. Oh no. Yes. Ready? Yes. All right, let's go. Here's the plants and I need to get like a cute little crate for this guy other than my old kettle box. But here's the mirror. It turned out good. Probably would do a few things differently next time, but from a distance, the black I think looks so much better. Now when we have our dining table with our chairs, that'll look so good. All right, let's go put the lamp together. Oh, because it's trying to connect to Wi-Fi. All right, I'm going to fix that up, but let's go to Bunnings first. This in the camera view looks so freaking cute. I'm hoping to stop using these lights because it's terrible lighting. But for behind you next to my computer, I just bought this little pot. I really wanted a half one because I feel like it would stick to the wall better than just a circular one. However, the half pots at Bunnings were just massive. They were not gonna work at all. They were way too big. So I just grabbed a little plain white one. It was really cheap, it was like literally under $2. I've got some command hooks. I got my partner to drill a hole into the back of it. So it will just fully sit nicely against the wall like that and I can put my fake vines in it so let's see how we can make this sit and then I'm going to fix the globes in this lamp so we can have a softer lighting and sort of see how it looks and see if we can bring the lighting really together in this room. I just opened the blinds and the lighting is just so much better. Okay let me get the wall into frame. I'm going to use the viewfinder which is so small to try and work out Oh, this is gonna be so tricky to work out. Maybe sort of like in line with the pegboard in the way of like straight across. So kind of like that, like in the middle. Maybe I should get a ruler. Maybe I should get a measuring tape. One moment. 3M tape, pen, ruler. Now I'm not trying to make this like immaculately straight. You know what I'm saying? It's just gonna be a rough idea because it's just gonna have the fake vines in it which I can sort of move around and make it look proper. Oh my God, okay. Ruler is too short. I will get masking, uh, masking tape. I'll get measuring tape. From the wall to the pegboard is 70. Five centimeters. I'm not trying to do the math. Like that's just pff, not gonna happen today or really ever. Okay, so 37.5 centimeters roughly. 37.5, I reckon we put it here. Now, let me work out how to do this guy. So it says clean the surface. It's clean enough. I remove the red line and press the adhesive to this guide. All right, held for 10 seconds. I'm literally gonna do a, a timer so I just don't have to think about it because technology is a beautiful thing, right? Gotta wait an hour before we can do anything. I'm gonna take it off, don't worry. Let me have a look. A little on the piss, but, but she's good. I'm gonna leave it for the hour and probably work out how I'm gonna stick these plants. The pot, but that does look really nice, doesn't it? Mm. That might be a little bit too much. So let's try and get the plant sitting nicely in the pot with some 3M tape. I'll go from there. I wrapped this around last night just to get it out of my way. Well, if I think about it this way, I kind of want one to sit pretty much in the middle and then one kind of on either side, right? To sort of properly fill it out. So good. I was thinking of it in the pot. Maybe I could just use masking tape and then just use the 3M tape for where I want to put the leaves. I think I'm going to try that first. Let's see if we can get it to work. Okay. Put it forward. That's fine. That really is fine. I wonder if I should put one at the front though. Ooh. Plant at the front, plant at the back, plant to the side. Really fill it out. Let's have a look. 
A bit like that. Oh, okay, no, I think at the back looks better. I think at the back is where it's gonna be at. Okay, yeah, perfect. I have no idea when the camera did, oh, I'm so low. <laughs> I have no idea when the camera died, unfortunately. However, we have her all taped up, all ready to go. Let's hook her up, and it's been an hour, so that actually ended up being perfect that I could charge the camera while I was waiting. And there she is. I tried putting the vine across. It it didn't look good. It, it didn't quite work out, but that's okay. I'll fill those holes up and get another rack to put up to start my keychain collection. I definitely need to do a little bit of a tidy up around here. Everything just feels a little bit chaotic. And I want to get some really beautiful cinematic kind of B-roll-y shots of this room together because I'm just so in love with it. Like this setup is quite literally the setup of my dreams. I have been looking at Pinterest for so many years to get my inspiration for this. So let me vacuum, tidy up, get everything thing together and get some beautiful cinematic and some b-roll of this gorgeous room that's come together just so nice everything is just filling out so well